Hi everybody. On the 22nd of April, we've got a full moon in the very powerful sign of Scorpio at 2 degrees. Whenever I think of Scorpio, I think of sex, birth, death, power, fear. I'm going to add to that list here. Powerful words, uh, particularly these, these first three words, sex, birth and death. Um, they're transformational. Pluto is ruler of Scorpio. And Pluto rules transformation, complete transformation. Changing, for example, um, from the caterpillar that becomes the butterfly. Who would ever imagine that that teeny weeny little caterpillar could become such a glorious, beautiful, light butterfly that can fly? And this really is shining the light on you now. What can you transform? It's, it's got a transformational energy with it, this full moon. As you've seen, I've been going through quite some uh, big transformations and it's not always easy. Very often fear comes out. Scorpio, you see, is about digging a lot. And I've got Scorpio friends and they love to dig, they love to research, they love to get to the bottom of things. They don't like surface type things. They really want to get to the meat of it. Scorpio is also ruled by Mars, co-ruler. As you can see, part of the glyph of Scorpio incorporates this energy of Mars, this piercing through energy, this passion, the sexual energy. Um, and this Mars energy is very much about me, myself. How can I move forward? How can I do things for me? But it's different at the time of this full moon because Mars, Scorpio's ruler, is retrograde. So how does that affect us? Well, what this enables us to do, I feel, at the time of this uh, moon energy is to reflect. Not to have to keep pushing out in this Mars, me, me, me direction, but going internally rather than externally. Because the minute you begin to change your internal world, your external world changes easily, automatically. I have spent a lifetime trying to change my external world Forcing it, pushing it, trying this, trying that, and it's ever so difficult and ever so exhausting. And now as I begin to change my internal world, the external world begins to fall in place more easily. Is it easy? No! Am I afraid sometimes? Yes! Am I tearful sometimes? Yes, as I meet uh, Tear, tears of resistance often to what's going on. Um, but just to have to go through it, into it, because that's what Scorpio is about. They're ready to go into it. They're the surgeon of the zodiac. They get to the, the blood and the guts. Yes, Pisces is great in aftercare, but Scorpio wants to get right in there. And that's what this is about. This is about becoming intimate. Becoming intimate with yourself and your environment around you. For example, I know I've been talking recently about loving oneself, but to me this is key to just about everything in your life on the internal level. So, is it easy to love hanging flesh? No, it's not. It's quite a challenge. And yet, to overcome that, to see that too as being beautiful, is a, is a crumpled old leaf that's almost dying still not beautiful. So I just present these ideas to you for you to look at the parts of you that you don't want to get intimate with, that you avoid maybe even looking at, and go into those areas. Then it's also about looking at your environment. Animals are so intimate, aren't they? Yes, a dog, uh, they, they look at you, they look at you with such passion. And cats as well, I mean, I just love animals, yes? But just noticing 
the passion that is around you as well, even uh, the trees, the flowers. There's so much more intimacy that you can have with your environment that's very fulfilling. I'm not sure if I'm getting my point across here, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just wanted to go deeply into this. And Mars retrograde is a wonderful time for making peace. When Mars is going forward, Mars rules wars, rules armies, rules the military. When it's going backwards, it's got to ease off. This is about easing off. Easing off of yourself, of pushing yourself quite so hard. Making peace, maybe with some of the things from your past, it is a full moon, so it may uh, bring some skeletons out of the closet. But also, we may see more opportunities for peace in our relationships as well during this time. Being able to see the other person's point of view, maybe not agreeing with it necessarily, but being able to see it. What it's brought up for me that I see with this Plutonic energy, it brings out a lot of the fears. And what I've noticed is I've spent a lifetime being afraid of dying, living being afraid of dying, rather than really truly living. And I think that that's the transformational energy again, to recognize what it is to observe yourself. Plut uh, this energy of Scorpio, the thing about Scorpios is they're very observant. They don't usually miss a trick. So this is about really observing what's making you do that action. What's making you do that? Why are you giving somebody the money back when you don't feel as though you should give somebody the money back and they've taken advantage of your time? Are you doing it because you just want them to love you? Are you doing it because you just want things to be nice? What's your motivation? Scorpio is all about motives. Scorpios definitely have clear motives for what it is they want. So what are your motives for your actions? This is a wonderful time for reflection, for going deep. We've got two important aspects at the time of this full moon. We've got a grand trine going on in Earth signs with Mercury in Taurus, Pluto, of course, in Capricorn, and uh, Jupiter in Virgo. So this Earth energy enabling you really to ground yourself, to notice the fears, but to take your power, to work with this transformational energy that really has the power to turn base metal into gold. It's the alchemist. It's where you can just bring about a miraculous healing. It's where you can connect with what you feel the meaning of death is. Because remember, death is not necessarily dying when you come to end of life. You can die on your own two feet many times. And I'm sure many of you have felt that. You've been through crises in your lives and you've come through it stronger, more powerful. So don't be afraid to go into the depths at the time of this moon. And you may be challenged to do it because we've also got the T-square going on here as well. We've got a grand trine and a T-square. So this is your easier aspect, shall we say, and the more challenging aspect is with the Saturn energy, the Jupiter and the uh, for, uh, Neptune, Neptune is here, Neptune, you always forget Neptune. Uh, so Neptune here, Jupiter, and these guys. So this squaring energy going on is really pushing you, pushing you out of the comfort zone maybe. Maybe putting you into situations that you would rather not be in. Maybe situations where um, you're feeling unsettled and we have got this mutable energy and we are still having to live with this uncertainty. But the more you are willing to reflect, the more you are willing to go into your internal world, the internal self, how you feel inside, because that's what Scorpio is, it's about going to the inside, it's not the outer world. If we're talking about Aries, we're talking about the outer world. This is the inner world, the underworld. 
So it's working with the internal level and finding the joy and everything within you. Yes, the joy, the sorrow, the pain, the fear, all of it. And embracing all of it. And then beginning to transform from that caterpillar into the beautiful butterfly that we all can be.